welcome to my youtube channel if you're here for the first time please hit the subscribe button turn on the notification bell so each time we pull a new video you're going to be notified about it and if you're returning welcome welcome to thoughts by Luz Nell. i am Luz Nell and happy to have you here i'm going to be talking about the little beginning this is the beginning of the year and i want to really um talk about this because this is necessary it's important the smallest things become big investments you should have this in mind and which eventually blossoms to something that benefits you and be benefits a uh, majority of people and so this is just an encouragement for you out there wherever you are i want you to understand this that you may think that it is small but yet it will blossom to something that can benefit you and benefit every other person that is around you let's consider a parable that um jesus was speaking in matthew chapter 13 verses 31 and 32 he said he told them another parable the kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed which a man took and planted in his field though it is the smallest of all seeds yet it, when it grows it is the largest of of garden plants and becomes a tree so that the birds come and perch in its branches from the above scripture we consider several points and the first of them is the choice of the seed each time the bible wants to talk about something um little and how much you can start from something small the bible will talk about um have faith like a mustard seed is how little it should be it will use the mustard seed because it is the smallest of all seeds and so the bible says the kingdom of heaven is like likened unto a man who used a planted a mustard seed in a field and when it grows it blossoms to something big the mustard seed is very small but when it grows it becomes something actually very big that benefits birds to come and hang on it. it it blossoms to branches and makes a bird to come and it makes it becomes a habitat for birds and so um it shows that little in, uh, investments should not be taken lightly they are very necessary and so should not be taken lightly um and it, it stipulates that one of the greatest investments that one should make is to is to plant on themselves is to cultivate invest in themselves this the bible says that this man um, planted a seed in a, in his field Bible says he told uh, this he told the parable the kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed which a man took and planted in his field. So the first place for you to invest in life, the little beginning, it should start in your life. Whatever investment you want to make, if you really want to start something, it should be in your life first. Start something in your life, and um, um, and if you notice that. Every little thing that starts from you, when you cultivate yourself, when you build yourself, when you develop yourself, you grow to something that can benefit other people. If you study on something, you become a ben it becomes a benefit to every other person that is connected to you. It's not just you. If you study mathematics, you, you become a teacher. You can now become a teacher to teach other people how to solve maths. That is the that is the the beauty of investing in yourself. I've noticed how beautiful a relationship can become if only the two parties can give little investment in it. So, like I said, I'm talking about little beginning, and if you can chip in a little bit of it, small time, small text messages, small calls, it can blossom to something very beautiful at the end of the day become something that everybody can envy many a lot of people can start start envying it starts from somewhere people who are married for 13 years didn't just start at 13 years who are married for 30 years didn't start at 30 years they started from a day so it requires just a step it requires something little so don't despise that little beginning we can say that the first step of everything is to is the starts is the seed is the planting is the lead to it's just that starts the first step for everything is the start how you begin matters a whole lot and you how your perspective of that lead to that's yours that of that beginning it matters a whole lot i want to proximate that your spiritual goal is also tied to how you how you see it don't despise your small beginnings every little thing that you do in relation to growing spiritually is very necessary for your life little time you spend in studying the word of god in praying in fasting the few days you take is very necessary for the growth of for your growth your spiritual growth in general so don't despise it 
We also need to learn to focus on improving ourselves because it will benefit us and others. Don't feel discouraged because the start is always that difficult. Sometimes when we start something, it becomes you start seeing it um, like really difficult. Is it even going to go? Some days you feel like you should not even make that step forward. You should not even go on. But to tell you the truth, don't despise your beginning. Zechariah chapter 4 verses 10 says, Do not despise these small beginnings, for the Lord rejoices to see the work begin. I'll repeat it again. Do not despise the, these small beginnings because for the Lord rejoices to see the work begin. For to see the plumb line in Jeroboam's hand. Just, God wants to just see you holding something. He just wants to see you start something. He rejoices in you. So if you're out there, you're thinking like, how can I make God happy? It's to start. He wants to see you start something. For the Lord rejoices to see the work begin. Just like having a child, there are times when you'll be waiting to see the child speak the first words. You're hoping to see the child uh, move the first step. That's how it, it happens in the heart of Christ to see you start something. He wants to just see you start something. He wants to see you. And it will motivate the parents to see a child move the first steps. Engage in daring sacrifices, in daring activities this year. Just start it. Start something. Start it. If you say you want to save, you want to save money by the end of the year, you want to see that you saved a lot. Start from somewhere. Five dollars. Before you see at the end of the year, you may have raised a lot of money that you never even really expected it. Because the beginning, don't despise this little beginning. Improve who you are and you will become a rod for others to follow. Desire to be better. And don't neglect your start. Don't neglect that uh, it, it can't happen. It should not happen. It will not even go anywhere. A great vision is seen from the support it gives to others. If you want to have a great vision, check others. Let it be. Let the motive be to empower others. Find the solution. Find, so find the problem and bring a solution to it. That's a great vision. Not just what will empower you, make profit for yourself, but what will be a blessing to others. That's a great vision. That's what we see as a great vision. And when you start that great vision, keep going. Because to tell you the truth, you may not know who is being blessed by what you're doing, but keep doing it. You may want to start a provision store in your area. You've noticed that in your area, there's no provision store. You want to start it. You're being a blessing to that community, to that society. Start it. It may start small. You start with one, one, um, one or two um, resources, but start from somewhere. Start from somewhere. Who would have ever thought that the little David, who was just a shepherd boy and an instrumentalist, I can imagine being an instrumentalist and a shepherd boy. That means probably he was playing the instruments. He was probably taking his instruments to the farm with him, to the bush with him while he's 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 shepherding his sheep. So this is him trying to work on his, his skills onto the point where his skill became a solution to Saul when he the evil spirit from the Lord was in him. If you study scriptures, you will see that when he will play the 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 lyre, it will it will it will bring healing to Saul. That is because he had invested in himself. He had he did not despise his beginning. He did not um say, okay, I'm not going to do this now. I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I'm not, I'm just going to sleep over. But he kept on studying and working on his his gift until it became a miracle to somebody. It became a blessing to somebody. So don't despise your little beginning. You may have just a little funds to start your business, but start there. You may have just one word to say, just start there. Start from somewhere. And that small thing that you may be neglecting can change the life of many people. It can change the life of many people. So start. I feel like one of the things that will push you to do anything is the benefits that outweighs later to people. And... Um, most of the times, we're not going to give account of the things that we did at the end of it all. We're going to give account of the things that we did not do. Don't hold yourself back from, from what you should do based on what you think there are as limitations. It may start very small, but it will definitely blossom. Like the proverb said, that this seed was small, but when it grew, it became the greatest seed of all. What you're holding, what you're having in your hand may be that gift that that solution for a problem that is coming ahead it may be a solution to a situation that is ahead of you you may not know but it will blossom someday somebody may stumble into something that you have done before and it will be a blessing to that person job chapter 8 verse 7 says though thy beginning was small yet the letter end would increase abundantly so start it it may not seem like it it will, it will go anywhere 
it may not seem like um it will it will do anything but just start it though your your beginning is small but the later end will greatly increase god bless you have a wonderful week ahead